This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. We're now going to jump into Duic and start adding our bones. To do this, let's first bring Duic up by going to Window, and then coming all the way down here to the bottom, you should be able to locate the Duic panel. Once that's brought up, you want to go to the first category under the rigging section. So under rigging, we have structures, and here you'll find the hominoid structure. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this, and this will start the process of building up the bones. You have the ability to draw out your own bones within this plugin. However, it's easier, especially if you're just working with a standard character like we are, to start with a template, in this case, this hominoid skeleton, modify it, and then link up from there. You can see now, when we clicked on this, what it actually did was draw out some shape layers that now look like bones. And the goal is to come in and line this up with our character so that the skeleton matches. The first thing I recommend when moving around with these bones is come in and let's lock all of the graphic layers. So starting with head, just move down, hold and shift, click on right hand, and then we can just choose to lock everything like that. Now, you might also find it beneficial to hide certain sections of the bones as we move, but let's see what happens here first. I'm just going to zoom in, and I'm starting on the bottom of the list with hips. And we can just kind of get ourselves arranged. Now, one thing I want to point out with this is you'll notice that when I move the hips, it also moves everything above it. So the two spines, the neck, and the head. The same goes for any of the arms, the legs, and any of the limbs that are connected. So what this means is I can focus on one section at a time. The hips, spine, spine two, neck, head, and spine tip are all connected in that vertical row. So I'm just going to come in here, going from arm all the way up to heel two, just hide all that. So that way it's just easier to focus on these bones for right now. So next, we're just going to come in here and move this down, grab this, and just bring it down like so. I don't have a point to line up the pelvis, but that's okay, because I have a point to line up the top and bottom torso bones, which you'll see right here, there's that little green dot. So we're just gonna place the pelvis right about here, and then we can bring in this top torso bone and bring it down like so, so that we shrink the bottom torso bone so that it goes to that green point. And again, I can zoom in here so I can show you. You can see the green points right there. We're just coming in and placing the bone right on top of it. We'll keep going here. We don't have, again, a point for the neck, but that's okay. We just want to start near the bottom of the neck like that. Then verify how long the neck is. We can hide the head to do this. And you can see that the head currently starts at the top of the neck, which is what we want. So we can bring the head back now, zoom out, and let's just grab the spine tip here and move it up so that it accommodates the head like so. And there you go. We now have the first section complete. The next is the first arm, or in this case, it will be the right arm, his right arm. It'll appear as the left arm for us. We're going to come in here and just reveal arm up to arm tip. And to make it easier, we can hide the spine bones for right now. And then just zoom in and do this all over again. Again, grabbing the top bone will allow you to move all the bones at once because they are connected. You'll also find in cases like this, it'll be beneficial to come in and hide the coat along with the torso. You might also find hiding the pelvis to be beneficial as well. And we can hide that leg just for good measure. Just come in here and we can hide the leg like that. So now the whole back arm is exposed. You can grab this and move it over. And I don't have a point for the top 
of the arm here, but that's okay. I'm just going to hide the collar pieces here as well. So that way we can get a good view of this. And we just want to move this over so that it's on top and close to the center, just like that. And then come down here to this bone and move it up so that it's inside of that green marker, or rather the green marker is inside of the bone here. Same for the wrist. We just have a marker right there for the bone, so we can just put it right there. And then coming down here, we have the hand tip or the arm tip. We're just going to point it down like that. And that's all we need to do for that. Coming back up here to the arm, we're just going to hide it. And now we start with arm two going up to arm tip two. This, of course, will be his left arm and so we'll just once again repeat these steps just bring this down zoom in come down like this and move it up and just kind of get this again close to the center top portion of the arm bring in this bone and bring it up to that green marker Come down here and place the hand bone like so. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. There we are. Also, it looks pixelated because I'm currently on quarter. You can come down here and always change that. And when you're doing things like this, it might be beneficial to actually switch it to a higher resolution just so you can see what's going on. Most of the time, I keep it at a lower resolution just because it helps with performance but just wanted to point that out so we can just come down there and arrange that so now we have the legs left let's just hide arm two and then go to thigh and we're going to reveal up to heel so just click on the visibility button there and here we have the leg we can bring this down and we're also going to come down here to the back arm and we're going to hide that so that way we can focus just on the leg and of course let's bring the leg back so we can see that as well that might help when it comes to actually rigging this up so there we are we have this in view and as you can see it's a little bit choppier now as i'm trying to work so i'm going to just kick this back let's go to a third it'll still be a little bit clearer but we can also get a little bit more performance out of it so now we're just going to come in here, place down a point right there. And then we have one right here. And then for the foot, we're going to bring the foot all the way down just like this. About right there. Basically where the sock meets the shoe. And this is your toes, or it represents where the toes will be. So we're just going to grab it and bring it up like this. Bring it in a little bit more. And then this is the heel, the red circle. So we can just come in and move that over. And we now have that set up. Let's just go up to the final set, which is going to be his left leg. So we can just bring all these pieces in. Grab this top bone and bring it down. And you can hide that front arm if you wish. I think we should be okay. I'm just going to come in here and line that up. Again, find your marker for your knee. And again, the limbs are the most important part to make sure everything is lined up. It might not be 100% perfect when it's all said and done, but it'll make correcting a lot easier if you're closer to the target than not. And so then for this foot, once again, just something similar here. Bring the toes up like this. And then you have the heel right there. And that should now complete assembling the bones. So with that, we're going to come back here and let's reveal all the bones once again. And you'll see it looks something like this. 
The final step to setting up a skeleton like this is to rig it. We need to tell the bones what they're going to do, what they're connecting to, and all of that. Fortunately, just like how we can automatically create structures, we can also automatically rig bones together. So let's come over here to the bottom bone, which is S hips, hold and shift, and then click on S heel two. So that selects all the bones. And then under your Duic panel, the second option here, links and constraints, the first option is auto rig and IK. We're just going to click on this and you'll see here, it's going to create some new layers. It can take a few moments. Once it's done, I can just put this out of the way. I'll come over here to the layers, click on one of these layers, and then use Control A or Command A to select them all. And then simply click on this arrow or use U on the keyboard to compress all these layers. So what we've done now is created some control points. You'll see the control points are now represented here. We have a skull for the head, there's a hand and feet, all representing how we can control the bones. We don't actually, or typically we don't, control the bones individually. We use these control points. As you can see, if I move the control point out, it brings everything with it that's connected. If I come over here and let's say grab the hips and I move them down, you can see that the knees are bending, the arms are going with it, and everything is working the way it should. And that's good. So with all that, we now have a skeleton that is aligned for our character, but we still have some work to do. Let's pause here and up next, we'll move on to the next lesson where we talk about zeroing out bones. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.